Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you four or five ways you can help maintain temperatures in your cold frame. So the whole goal is when the cold frosts come at night, the freezes come at night, you want your cold frame to stay, if you can, above 32 degrees so your leaves of your plants don't freeze and more importantly the root systems of your plants don't freeze. Now in a cold frame we're growing cool weather crops that means the leaves can actually take a frost and a freeze and they're going to be perfectly These are cool fine. weather crops. I'm going to show you my cold frame and give you a couple of tips on how you can even make it warmer in there for the plants when the hard frosts come. Cool weather crops can take a freeze and these are mostly greens, kohlrabi, and you can see the frost pattern on there. These leaves can freeze, they'll thaw out, they'll be perfectly fine. The problem is, is like with cauliflower and broccoli, even though the leaves will be okay, the actual broccoli bud will get damaged in the hard frost. So the goal is not to keep the air around the leaves always above 32. That would be great, but it's pretty much impossible as winters come into our area. The whole idea is to keep the ground from freezing because if the root systems don't freeze through, don't freeze out, then these plants are going to keep on going. So there's a couple ways you can do it. We're going to add bricks, which I thank uh, a bunch of subscribers. They were giving me that tip and I have tons of bricks around. So the brick will absorb heat during the day and it will radiate the heat back into the cold frame at night. It'll help a little bit, you know. So when the hard uh, freezes are coming, this may keep your ground warm and your plants are going to continue to grow. You can use milk containers. We're going to spray that black, fill it with water or sand. Same principle. So if you have large stone objects in here, uh, water, sand in a container, they're going to absorb heat during the day and radiate back. Again, cool weather crops, the leaves can freeze, frost. We want to keep the ground nice and warm. On the outside, we're going to put some mulch and mound up around it. You can use, of course, as I said, mulch. You can use larger stones. Anything that will keep heat around the cold frame or insulate the cold frame so the soil inside freezes much more slowly than the outdoor soil. And the fifth tip is, I mean, pretty straightforward. We're just going to lay a tarp across here on the nights that it gets really, really cold. So let me set this up. I'll show you how I do it, and I'll talk again about the principles. And you can pick what you need. You don't need to do all this. If you're in a really cold area where, you know, you're way up north, then you're going to want to mound up mulch or soil around it, and you're going to want to use all the techniques inside, and you'll probably have to cover it. If you're in a place like Maryland or below where maybe the cold doesn't get so bad, you may not have to mound mulch up or stones around the side. It's really up to you, but I'm going to do all of them. We're all going to have different resources on our homestead or on our gardens, at our gardens. So I'm going to actually mulch all the way down. I'll show you that at the end of the video. I'm not going to use the rocks, but you could do that if you have them. These are actually going to go on my fig trees around the roots to keep them warm. But a nice layer of mulch or dirt coming out at an angle, this will absorb heat. We'll keep the soil warmer. Remember, the goal is to keep the soil from freezing. And it's also going to add insulation going into the box. So mulch is great. And i got to get right in there where I've dug everything out, you can see. Inside, just lay your bricks down in whatever pattern works for you around the plants. They can be close to the plants. Found a cinder block, painted that uh, dark with some brown paint. Didn't have any black paint. That will absorb heat. That will radiate back. And then the milk jug I sprayed with brown paint, again, didn't have any black. Filled that with water. That will hold water. And the whole idea is the bricks, cinder blocks, large stones, water jugs will absorb heat during the day, slowly, slowly radiate it back into the cold frame during the night. And a couple degrees can make all the difference in making sure that your cool weather crops stay alive. Let me just finish this up show you how I'm going to be using all of this. So here's my space just about done. I'll finish mulching behind here and you on the other side but this gives you an idea of what it looks like. You don't want to mulch out so far that you have trouble getting into your cold frame. You could use uh, bales of hay here too or straw. This is how I'm going to set up the brick pattern in between every plant. That will help the soil. That will radiate off to the leaves too. I'll stack more bricks up back there. As I get more milk jugs I will put them along the back side. Now, one tip too that's unrelated to the theme of the video is if for some reason you get an infestation of insects or snails or something because it's staying warm in here, they're not getting killed off, just take your top off, 
let a frost come in, it's not too bad, maybe, you know, 28 degrees or higher, it will kill off any problematic insects that may show up in here. But for the most part, let's see if I can do this one-handed. This is how my cold frame will sit for the winter. Please subscribe, I will link the build videos to this and the planting videos. The tarp, pretty straightforward, it would just lay across the top. If you're going to get into temperatures below 20 degrees, just drop a tarp down, secure it, take it off when you, when you uh, have a little bit warmer cold weather. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.